All right. What's up? We are in E flat tuning. We took every string and brought it down half step. So it should be. There's our E, but here's our E flat. That's standard tuning. This is where we're at. So E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. Just move everything down a half step. And we can now play Nobody Love by Tori Kelly. Um, the song is in E. It's in E flat, actually, but relatively. It's just in the key of E. And for the most part, the four chords we're going to be working with are standard E, like an open E shape. An A, which is going to be first level major bar chord up on the fifth fret. So we're taking that E shape, sliding it up, pointer finger on the fifth fret. We can choose to play it barring over, or if you want to get cute with it, leave those top two strings open. Then a B, it's going to be up on the seventh fret, which we can also choose to keep our pointer finger down or leave it open. It's just like a little aesthetic thing. And then instead of playing a C sharp minor up here like we normally would, we're going to play it. This is like the Tori Kelly signature style of chord. The one, the three, and the four. You can take Using this simple form, we can make seventh chords, major seven chords, or minor seven chords. And she plays entire songs. Like using just that. I mean, it sounds better than that when she does it, but I was just goofing around. But yeah, she plays. This is a C, or a C sharp minor seventh on the ninth fret. And I believe she's only playing on the three strings, where if you use your pointer finger, you can squeeze your pinky in there. But anyway, the song's gonna start out with an E. E, two, three, four, two, three. This is our C sharp minor, and I have that written as the slow section up here to be A, two, three, four, E, two, three, four. I think she may do that twice. I don't I actually am not really familiar with the song at all. So I'm kind of winging it here. But we have, once it gets funky, She goes down to that. It's like the, the major form on the fourth fret instead of the fifth fret. But what's happening here? We have an E, and then the first weird change is E, B, C sharp minor. Dun, dun, dun. C sharp minor, B, A is the second one, and then A, C, B. Um, there's your rhythm. E. sounds kind of empty, right? Because she's because we're not using a lot of open strings, especially on these bar chords up here. We can just gently loosen some of the pressure from the strings. Our guitar is now percussion. And once we play that E, we do have open strings. So if you want to, like, I just kind of have to cover it over so I can. Exactly how she does it, but let's listen to it real quick. This is the quiet part. In the verse, she's going down to. You like my Tori Kelly chops? So this goes down to the fourth fret instead of the fifth fret the second time through that funky part. And then I think she goes to her chorus here. Okay. 
she's riding that C sharp minor or that C sharp minor seven. One, two, three, four, five. One. Or she's bringing it down. Yeah, I lost it. I'm listening to it again. Sorry. The first time through. Move up to the 10th fret. part of mouth or alone will probably be enough to keep you busy for a whole week but just just like fiddling around and using rhythm well in that course one two three four five that's her rhythms and everything else is muted but notice her hand is moving constantly so it's one two So, I mean, yeah, once again, slowly, we have that. We're muting the second string, the fifth, and the sixth string. We're just playing one, three, four. But, but I'm not going to. My hand stays moving. Back into that verse. screwing that chord up. I'm good. <laughs> you good? Yep. So wait.